Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. Oh my God, what is this artistic license on a Saturday? Yes, well, that's because we died in hardcore WoW. So we're playing some Final Fantasy X 2 now. So yeah, okay, we're gonna just hop into the game. Does her husband stream too? Yeah, no, he does not. Um, he he does not. He's um done maybe a couple of times, like with his with a friend of his that does stream, like gone live with him, and they played a multiplayer game together. But like he would not get on camera or anything like that. Like he doesn't have a channel. He's not really he's not really like that type of gamer. You know what I mean? Some people really like the sort of thing. Some people are like, eh, you know, not as much. Okay, we are next gonna go to Meehan High Road. So there is a mission here, Machina Gone Wild, but we're actually not gonna do the mission. The whole reason why we're here is to place a comm sphere for chapter four. Seems some Machina are on the rampage. Let's mangle those Machina. But it does make us start the mission. You can't avoid it. So we're gonna say let's do it, but we're really not gonna focus on it. <laughs> okay, sounds like it's mission time. But see, you see Shinra running off. That's what we want to we want to see. But yeah, he's actually playing um, the Spider-Man game right now. So yeah, he's a big gamer as well. It says I'm still playing. Wow. Okay, I'll fix it. Well, well. I thought it would have switched over because I switched it in the OBS, but I guess it didn't push out properly. Did the title change? Ooh, holy fish. Okay, let's fix that. Yeah, okay, so the title did, but not the category. Okay, we'll switch, we'll fix the category. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I guess I should delete these tags too because they are no longer accurate. All right, there we go. All fixed. Thank you, Eminem. I think people will be pretty sad if they clicked on WoW and they saw Final Fantasy. Those, are, those games are a little bit too different. So yeah, we're gonna ignore most of these. We're really just trying to get over to the um, travel area. And watch Shin replace the comm sphere and then we can go back. It's gonna make us fight a couple of these, but we don't really have to finish the mission. So I've really think, been thinking a lot about like what I want to do with my channel on Twitch and like how I want to progress that next year. Um, and it's been it's been kind of like a really really serious thought process because since kind of like everyone's over the pandemic now, viewership is not as high. So I'm realizing I kind of need to like 
super, I need to like think more about like what niche I actually want to be in. Um, Cause I've been doing the variety streamer thing and it's been really super fun, but there's, I'm not able to grow doing variety stream like I was for the first two years. Like this year has just, I've been, I've stagnated and I don't want that any, want that. Not because um, I'm unhappy with the amount that I have. I am very happy with the amount that I have in the community that I have. But the fact that viewers aren't going to stay the same viewers for years and years. So if I'm not growing, I'm eventually declining. So I, I need to grow a little bit to maintain what I have. So I'm trying to decide like what niche I want to occupy. And I'm really thinking that maybe Final Fantasy is the thing. Because I have all the, the PC Pixel remasters. And I haven't played a lot of the pixel versions of Final Fantasy, so I'm thinking maybe like that should be those should be the main games that I stream after we're done with our 200% run of 10-2. And I'm thinking like in addition to the podcast episodes that we do, that uh, though that will probably be the main thing that happens on my channel. I bought more stuff, so I'm even poorer now. As is the life, as is the life. Um. I assume that for you guys, even though like you're not really in the US or anything, so anyway, shouldn't replace the comms that's what we wanted. Um, even though you're not in the US or anything, um, you still can take advantage of like Black Friday deals and stuff because everyone's doing them online, right? Like, is that true? All right, so that was the last thing in this chapter, in chapter three that we needed to do. So now we can go to Jose Temple. And we can finish up this chapter. Uh-huh. The leaders of all three groups. Missing? I have a hunch something funny's going on. Mm-hmm. Save the hunches for later. Fadni at fegur dek da fins on minuf, pit fa umo shit a drech kofunka. Dra fins voi devo duo sanka feder wi makina. Translation? Not good. Then that's our cue. I need to buy Christmas gifts. I need to get Christmas gift for the husband. I need to get Christmas gift for the roommate and for my parents. And speaking of Christmas gifts, we are also doing a Christmas gift exchange in the Discord. So if you are in the Discord and you're in the US, Canada, UK, Germany, I think is the countries that this service supports. It might support Australia and New Zealand too, but I cannot remember. Um, then you should definitely make sure you're in the Discord and join our gift exchange. It's going to be really super fun. It's Black Friday week here too in Sweden, at least. That's what I figured. I figure like, because like, uh, America is so ubiquitous as far as commerce goes on the internet, that Black Friday week is kind of like an international thing at this point. That everyone kind of does it. The pandemic itself totally killed Black Friday on Friday situations. Like, nobody does that anymore. It's all, like, online and, like, week-long sales and stuff. Like, most Black Friday sales started last Monday. Alright, we gotta push these back. We're just gonna start on this side and go around. And hopefully the last one is not the one we're supposed to push back. Yeah, I can imagine it, yeah. Yeah, so all those videos that you saw of like people rushing the stores and things like that, like that just doesn't really happen anymore. And um, you know, sales aren't so exclusive that they that they need to happen, so that's just like not a thing. Um, which I'm so glad for. Like Black Friday sales were like ridiculous, and I did it, you know. I was out there in it, and uh it was like, ah, <laughs> I could not imagine doing that now. Ooh, nice, on the second one. Good job. An Aeon? 
merge with El Bed Machina. Isn't that what they said? Yeah, Payne speaks El Bed, which they don't realize what right now. Be? But we can know. The audience. This can't be happening! But it is, Riku. It is. And we gotta kill it. Sorry, Ixion. You are awesome Aeon Cuddles, but it's time to go. So yeah, I'm thinking 2024, I'm going to try to focus my channel on Final Fantasy games and kind of like do into that because I really, really love this series. And I would love to be able to say that I played all the Final Fantasies because I have played a lot of them, but I really have not played all of them. I think that's kind of a sin. So we're going to fix that on stream. I'm going to learn all of them and play them for you and beat them all. Another hole. I wonder what's down there. The scary part. Go find out. Uh-uh! No way! The hole we found was so deep. It was as though all the secrets in the world might be hidden in its depths. Might be. But something told me to stay away. These secrets are not for me to know. Uh-oh. Get back! Huh? Yuna's gonna get extremely back. Whee! Don't worry, you'll all go down to the far plane soon. It's so bright. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, uh, you can hear me. I can't see you. Where are you? Right here. So I think if we do the whistles this time, we might get the perfect ending because we'll have 100% and do the four whistles. So we're going to try to do that and see if we get the perfect ending for this second run through. The ghost dress is taking over. I See, we played this game. This is the second run through now. I don't think Shuyan looks that much like Titus, like a little bit, but not really. It looks more like he's Titus's brother. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now in this game, it's really low for you guys. Hang on. Together, I just realized y'all could not hear that cutscene. There we go. I looked for you for so long. While I wandered, I realized something. 
Spira hasn't really changed at all. Everyone's still fighting over nothing, still dying like they used to. A thousand years have passed, and they can't leave the hatred behind. Right, Alpha Tiff? Like, he looks like him, but not really. I'll fix it. This world continues to fail us, and what's worse, I failed to protect you. Vegnagun will make that all go away. And we'll fade again. Together. Help me do it. Len. Don't touch me. <gasps> Whose feelings are these? Let's. Mine? Like, I just, yeah, he just doesn't look, like, if you look at him compared to, like, with the HD versions, where they could have, like, changed Open his face eyes. to make him look more similar, they totally didn't. He could have literally looked the same, but he doesn't really. <sighs> but it wasn't Shu Yin exactly at all. It was Shu Yin inside Barilai's body. Now it's time to shoot first and ask questions later. The end is not far now. You know what having the far plane be literally inside of the planet for Spira implies? It implies that Spira is actually Hollow Earth. Give this to pain. Think about that for a minute. Simplified. Yeah, give her this one too. Final Fantasy X, huh? two, Hollow Earth confirmed. Our wills. <gasps> He's kidding. Just make sure pain gets him, all right? How do you know her? The four of us go way back. Don't go. It's under control. Take care of things topside. All right, some Crimson Spheres that are kind of useless to us in this run through, because we're not worrying about the Den of Woe. I didn't know what had happened. Everywhere I looked, I found only questions. But more than anything, I'm just angry. One thing after another, and I'm already confused to begin with. Hey, where am I? Scream it out. Scream it out, girl. I'm all alone. Where are you? Run up those stairs. And we go. Finale of Come chapter in, Yuna. three. Yuna. Yuna. Reporting in. Yuna! Chapter 3 complete.
Oh, that's what you're saying, brother? He's been blubbering about how he couldn't go on living if something were to happen to you. <laughs> we hadn't heard anything in so long. We tried tossing a comm sphere into the hole, but it didn't help one bit. Hey, it's still in beta. So what happened? Well, so many things, you guys. So many things. You will never believe. Lynn, huh? Yeah, the girl from the songstress dress sphere. That's Lynn? Sure. She wore that dress 1,000 years ago. Why didn't you tell us? No one asked. Besides, all I knew was her name. What's to tell? What Shinra said surprised me, but only a little. So there really was a connection. Mm. Okay, okay. So the reason Shu Yin keeps calling Yuna Len is... Because of that dress sphere? I can't really say for sure. Forget Len! Shu Yin's the one who's wanting to vaporize Spira! Yeah, but what can we do? Nuge and Gipple are already planning something. Let them deal with it for now. Buddy is a good voice of reason. All right, to progress, the people we have to talk to is Pain. We saw Pain walk up here. So we are gonna go chat with her. Yuni, Yuni! Yeah? You met Shuyin, right? Was he anything like you know who? Hmm, not really, just his face. Yep, not like Titus at all, barely even in the face. What's up, Pain? They gave me these. They say anything? No. I see. They're old friends. The three of them were candidates for the Crimson Squad, and I was the recorder assigned to their team. Yevon created the squad and started training members two years ago. It was supposed to be an elite fighting force. The best were to be assigned leadership of Crusader chapters across Spira, but the squad was destroyed before that happened. Most of the candidates died. An accident. Except you guys. The four of us were separated then. Things happened. Things. We know those things. I don't get it. I was there. I saw everything. But still, I don't know why it happened that way, even now. So I went to look for some answers. You became a sphere hunter. I always did want to fly on this thing anyway. What you talking about? Or is it another one of those secrets? That's all right. I didn't want to know anyway. Too bad. And I was just about to tell you. Really? <laughs> Too late now. Uh, weep, himo. <laughs> we used to laugh like this once. The four of us. I've been chasing my past for so long. Sometimes getting it back is all I can think about. Other times, I just want to forget. What about you? Shuyin isn't who you thought, is he? No. Maybe we should both let go of our past and focus more on what's to come. That was good advice, Pain. You're not leaving the gull wings! Always a possibility. So many things seem intertwined, but nothing leads to you. Why be a sphere hunter if what I'm hunting for can never be found? Mm. It's 
a good question. It's a good question. All right. So the next thing we have to do is go back to the bridge. You're not leaving us, are you? After this scene, we gotta talk to Shinra. I may not look it, but I am having a good time. Right! Right? Yeah, no one's leaving, Riku. <laughs> what about Yuna? Think she'll quit? Offline, Kahoot! Wow, brother. You get we, yeah. <gasps> and now everybody oh. knows. Airhead is what she calls him, that's funny. Yuna! I hate to interrupt, but Spear is falling apart with its leaders missing. Check the comm spheres and see. Whee! Okay, let's talk to Shinra. Wanna check the comm spheres? Okay, then we're gonna go and take a look at some of the required ones. Some of these scenes we've seen before, but there is gonna be a new one that gives us some percentage gains. So let's go watch. This one we have seen before, y'all will remember once it starts. Hey Yuna, how you been, huh? Well, not too bad. How are things in Besaid, Waka? It's okay. It's been pretty quiet, yeah? No more fiends in the temple. Really? That's what Becklam says, and he patrols the place every day. He's a dedicated man. Yeah, but he's gonna be leaving the island pretty soon. Youth League's having some trouble or something, so they called him back to headquarters. On top of that, word around here is the new Yevon Prager's gone missing. Not sure what it all means, but things don't look good, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit crazy all over. Listen, I don't know about the rest of Spira, but Besaid's in good shape. I got this place covered. It's that, or Lou will let me have it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Waka. Thanks, Waka. Okay, so the next required scene that we have to see is Kilika. This is one that we have watched before. We're gonna watch it again for this round. Okay, Donna. You're, I, I know it's not your fault that you have a limp, but oh my god. Oh my god. Calm sphere is a bit, a bit wobbly. Well, that's Killika Port for you. From the moment Nuge disappeared, everyone's been running around in circles. Just look at them. No one knows what to do without someone barking orders at them. They've already started looking for a new leader. In fact, they even asked me. Figured a former summoner would make a perfect leader for the town. Why not? Why don't you? Too busy looking after myself, dear. Hmm. Of course, I'll do what I can to keep things from getting too far out of hand, but until Nuge gets back, things are not going to be the same. Whatever you say, Donna. Okay, this next one is a new scene, because we chose Youth League this time, so we can actually see what they have to say at Mushroom Rock. So let's go. And we get 0.2 percentage points for this one. More fiends? Actually, we've received some unconfirmed reports of trouble brewing in Bavel. It seems a unit of New Yevon's troops have been gearing up for a raid. With Nuge gone, they're hoping to strike quickly and catch us off guard. But don't worry about us. We won't be so easily trapped. We're planning to launch a preemptive strike before they can attack. As soon as our preparations are complete, we move on Bavel. But you're not even sure they're planning an attack, are you? In war, victory favors the bold. I must be off. Farewell. All right. So there's this secret raid that's going on. And then we need to view the Bavel scene. This is one that we have viewed before. We got to turn around. Turn around. 
and then go back. It's Maroda. What are you doing? Well, for one, I'm running reconnaissance on New Yevon. The Praetor's gone. Fiends are on the loose. New Yevon is upside down. Fortunately, security is lax, so even Youth League members like me can walk around in the open. You there, what are you doing? <laughs> Took them long enough. So long. All right. So that should have got us 0.2 percentage points, so we're just going to save real quick and check that. We should be at 101.6 now, I think. So let's make sure that I'm telling the truth. Yes, that puts us at 101.6. Okay, then we gotta talk to Buddy. Looks like Nuge and Beryl I still haven't come back. And now Giffle's vanished too. Spirit's three leading big shots have all gone AWOL. If I was one of their followers, I'd be pretty worried and scared. Tension between the two groups is getting volatile. It won't be long before things get very ugly. And Vegnagun's on the loose. You can bet Shuyan's controlling that thing. Mm. I wonder if Gipple and the others are trying to destroy it. Maybe. Oh, nothing makes sense anymore. I mean, just what the heck are we supposed to do? Nooch spoke to me on the far plane. He told me to take care of things topside. As if it were the simplest thing to do, really. And everything was going so well. At least, that's what I thought. I changed my mind. I want to do something. Nooch asked me to help, and that's what I'll do. Whack! That kid stuck you in the thing. That's right. All righty! Let's smash that action figure! We'll risk our lives and protect Spira from Vegnagan. No, I think there has to be something we can do besides fighting. Like what? With its leaders gone, Spira's falling apart. It's music. Maybe we can bring people back together. The answer for yeah, Spira. Yeah. Great idea there, Uni. So, like, what are we gonna do? Huh? Sing campfire songs? Oh! That is it! All of Spira will be the captive of you and singing and dancing. Great idea! <laughs> I can handle the techie stuff. H hang on! I know, I know. I bet Toby would help. Where is he now? The moon flow. Gull wings? Move out! I began this journey hoping to find you. But I know now that may never happen. Still, I will keep walking these roads. I have to find where they connect. I have to see for myself. Would you like to check the comm spheres? The sphere waves keep pouring in. All right, so we have we watched most of the comm spheres the comm last spheres? time, but there are a couple things that we need to do with the comm sphere network. The first being um, the Meehan Mystery. So we are gonna have a different culprit this time. Last time it was Riku who was blamed. So we're gonna do some different things here to trigger a different culprit, which you guys will see in chapter five. What's up, Rin? Is something wrong? Lately, a number of strange events have been occurring here on the high road. Mm. Our hover was destroyed. Also, the drone machina malfunctioned. I've launched an investigation, but clues have been hard to come by. Forgive me for asking in such a busy time, but might I request your help in this matter? Don't worry, Rin. I got it. I am relieved to hear it. With your help, the mystery will be solved in no time. But... What should we do? I have placed a number of modified comm spheres along the high road for use in our investigation. Should you find anything suspicious, please report it to me. Okay, so this you can use for accusing 
the chocobo eater. So you can follow this, but you have to have seen the chocobo eater do the little running thing that he does in chapter one when you're helping out Callie. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna start it. With that, I bid you good luck. So you had to see him in chapter one. Okay, first thing, we're gonna go to the travel agency back. And we're waiting for something to come along and play with the console. There he is. Hey, friend. Little babby. Hello. Okay, now we're gonna call Rin once we see him. Ah, this is a Chocovorous fiend, often seen on the high road, but why would it be here and not with a Chocobo in sight? Okay, now we are gonna go over to New Road. And we've got this little crowd here. Hmm, there are marks here indicating that something fell into the ravine. Okay, and next we're gonna go to the high road north entrance. It's our little friend again. Okay, so we're gonna call Rin once we see the little chocobo eater again. That is a prophet, the man who is trying very hard to bring chocobos back to the high road. Well, his tenacity is admirable. I never thought I would see him evangelizing fiends. It seems we are getting closer to the heart of the matter. Okay. Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. All right, so that moves us on to phase two. We're gonna go to the back to the travel agency front. And we have actually seen this scene before. We used it when we were trying to capture Riku. Okay, and there's our friend again. Let's call Rin. How strange, that fiend never used to feed on the spear of gulls. Could it have expanded its palette? All right, now we're gonna go to the new road. There's a hover. Ah, oh, and there's our friend again. Is it attacking the hover? No, it's almost as if it were trying to eat it. My, my. All right, now we're gonna go to the travel agency back. And this is the prophet's assistant. If y'all remember from early in chapter one, we went and talked to him. You called? Can I help you? It was a simple enough question. Maybe she has something weighing on her conscience. Maybe, maybe. All right, now we're gonna go to the hover crash site. Okay, and once these machinas show up here, then we can call Rin. Have you found something? How awful. The Machina appear to have found a wounded man in the brush. Fortunately, his wounds are not severe. I will take him to safety after I have surveyed the area. It seems we are getting closer to the All heart right. of the matter. Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. Okay, so now we're on phase three. We're just gonna briefly um, go back here. I don't think... Oh no, we can do that. Okay. You called? The man we found injured on the old road earlier spoke deliriously as I brought him here to safety. 
This new information has proven most enlightening. All right, now we're gonna go back to the hover crash site. And I think we just call Rin immediately this time. How could I have missed such a vital clue? There is evidence of trauma on this side of the hover. It looks like something punched it. I believe it is all starting to fall into place. Okay. All right. I will handle the rest of the investigation and think more on this evidence. Okay. I am grateful for your help, Lady Yuna. This should have done it. So hopefully in chapter five, it will have. So there we go. We're done. Now, because we had chosen a uh, new Yevin last time, we the only things we got to see in Mushroom Rock Road were them throwing the comp sphere into the ocean. So we've got some other scenes we can watch here. Um, they are not for any percentage points, but they're very funny. So we are gonna go look. And it's all about this man right here, the man of the hour, this guard. Hi, friend. Hello. What's up? Would we will, will you talk to me? Hello? Hi. I'm just gonna stare at him. Come on. It's not triggering. It's not triggering. What, what's happening? There it goes. <laughs> Watching me? Well, Maybe. quit staring. How am I supposed to concentrate? <laughs> yeah, this guy. This guy. This guy is good. Okay, so we're gonna get to know this guy just a little bit. Um, we're gonna come. We're gonna leave out and come back. All right. Let's uh, let's proceed to stare at our new best friend again. plan on staying a guard forever, you know. Once the war with New Yevon starts, I'll show them what I'm made of. For us peons, war's a great chance to prove ourselves. Just watch. We'll ride the winds of change and claim what's ours. Okay, if you say so. This is what they were talking about when they said some of the soldiers were restless and needed to fight. Yeah, I love being a guard. What, you again? If you're wondering about our battle preparations, they're coming along fine. Says you. We're not afraid of New Yevon. If they want a piece of us, let them come. Okay. Cocky. Take a look around. We want to fight, and we're not planning on waiting much longer. I think Commander Lucille would have her hands full if she tried to stop us now. All right, so that's the rank and file admitting that, like, Lucille cannot control them. And that's it. Once he sits down like that, you've seen all the scenes for this first part for Mushroom Rock Road. All right, there's another scene that I want to show you guys. Um, if we go to the Jose Temple, I think we have to view a couple of scenes first. Um, but remember, we told Leon and Aid to come to Jose instead of going to Kilika. So um, we are going to look for them. I think we have to zoom in on these two guys first and do this scene. Come over here. There he goes. Oh, we can understand him this time. Very progressive. Oh, 
Soldar of Yor, it ain't really even negative than fiend, but Nejigek, that I'm picking up Takan. It but so Nekladinis, it really goes to the fetter So there's a connection between Vegnagun and Bikanel. The big old fiend that's there. All right, one more. This next one should be Leon and Aid. There they are. Guess they didn't have any luck. Guess not. All right, the next place we're going to go is Makalania Woods. Whenever you do not stop Garrick, um in, in Mount Gagazet from attacking the Guado, we get some different scenes in Makalania. Sad scenes, some sad scenes. Here we go. Look at how beautifully blue the sky is right now. It's so pretty in Makalania. Sleeping quite happily when we had a peculiar dream. This is the scene from before. I think we have to watch it before we can get to the next one. I want to show you guys. A fearsome power lies within. Now it's gone and sucked us in. This horrid dream, what could it mean? The faith that protected Spira are not immune to the forces of destruction. These woods, too will perish, and we along with them. Mm. Oh, here we go. The Ronso are here. They're marching. And you can see the sky slowly turn red. So this is what the Ronso are doing. They are destroying all of the Guado that are left. The ones that have fled into the woods. There's one more scene at the woods entrance here. <clears throat> and look, the sky's completely red now. And it's one guado. And this poor guado is just watching their woods be destroyed. All right, we are also going to stop by the travel agency because we did not pay Owaka's debt this time. So this is what happens at the travel agency if you haven't paid his debt. Mm. Oh, yes, we know about that. All right, so you do not get access to the travel agency in Chapter 5 if you do not pay off Iwaka's debt. That's basically what that's telling you. All right, there's one more scene right here. This is still going to be Kimari talking to us, but he says different stuff because we didn't stop Garrick. So let's go talk to him and see what he says. Hey, Kimari! I'm going to be in a concert. Bring the rest of the Ronso and come watch. Kimari cannot. Angry Ronso youth leave mountain. 
Seek revenge on Guado. Kimari chase after Ronso. Cannot stop them. Kimari ashamed. Kimari not worthy to face Yuna. Mm. Kimari. Kimari not <clears throat> leave. Pray for Yuna from Mountain. Poor Kimari. All right, all the rest of the Comsphere stuff that we can watch, we watched in our last playthrough. So those are all the new scenes from the different stuff that we did this time. So it's time to hunt Tobli. Huh? Yikes, sorry. Must have dropped you off at the wrong place. As long as you're there, why not take a little She's laughing at us. Rude. All right, time to chase Tobli. What's up, you guys? Hey, you! You haven't seen Tobli anywhere around here, have you? We have word that he's somewhere nearby. I see him. Huh? Aha! There you are! Why don't any of them get attacked by fiends? Stronger than you thought, huh? Just midget found him. They're so mean saying that word to him. You could chase him without using slurs. It's possible. Where'd that little ball of pudge learn to run like that? I'm beat. We can't keep up. Don't worry, I can. Come back here, you big faced fraud. I'm on a roll. Tobly, just get caught already. I'm gonna keep chasing you until you do. <laughs> Can't believe that weird little this weird little thing had a chocobo feather. Poison any of your dad. Thank you. 
Has Tobley passed this way, sir? Ah, uh, no. Can't say I've seen him. He must still be on the south bank. Mm-hmm. Go take another good look. Oh, yes, sir. Coming for you, Tobley. Koneko, hello! How are you doing this weekend? We're in the process of chasing Tobli. You're not getting away. Confident, huh? <laughs> I'm doing was feeling a bit freaky and insecure. To ride on one of the cuddliest, cutest horses today, so I'm feeling better now. Aww. Is that like one of your favorite horses that you got to ride today? I'm so glad. That's the power of animals. It can suddenly make you feel like, oh, everything's actually fine. <laughs> R remind you that everything's actually fine. Yes, he's one of my faves. He's an old fjord, and he's the sweetest cuddle bug. I assume that's like a horse breed? Fjord? Am I saying that right? Alright, Tubbly crashed his hover. So let's go find him on the other bank. He says Tubbly crossed the moon flow. You're oh. saying it right. Pure to the cutest cute Norwegian horses with the fancy white manes and black stripe in the middle. Oh, okay, okay. Rides the shoe puff. The horses in Frozen or Fjords? Okay. All aboard. Um, though typically Fjords have stockier build than those in the movies. Well, I assume like in the movie it's like an animated version of them, so they don't really quite look like that in real life. I mean, most animals, I think Disney animals, don't quite look like their real life counterparts. But that's cool. I do think those kind of horses are really pretty. Yep, the movie, their legs are thinner and their noses are less floppy in real life. That makes sense. I feel like the the moose in um, that movie, his nose is Thank blockier than again. moose noses in real life. Even though moose noses are kind of like big and blocky, but you know. Ah, he has to be here somewhere. You don't suppose he climbed out of one of them trees, do you? Probably. Tobley would do something like that. Pretty sure spin is oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He's a reindeer, not a moose. What am I saying? That's pretty accurate to how reindeer look, actually. 
Yeah, but then he goes and acts like a dog. You're right, he's a reindeer in that movie. Shows what I know about Frozen. It's been forever since I've seen it. Ooh, she gets Ultima. Yuna gets Ultima for one of her festivalist spells. That's cool. All right, Tobley. You've chased away the last of them. It's just me now. I've never seen the full movie. <laughs> But I know enough about it. Does Frozen have a world in Kingdom Hearts? In like one of the newer Kingdom Heartses. Anything goes. It sure does. It's the most dislike world in Kingdom Hearts 3, of course it is. <laughs> I wouldn't know, I only played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, but I figured like I was like, hmm, if Koneko knows it's enough. Okay. It probably is in a, one of the Kingdom Hearts. Because there's like a zillion of those games. Oh no, 100, 100 Acre Woods is the most disliked, but it's the second most disliked. Oh, I see. I feel 100 Acre Woods is in um, Kingdom All Hearts 2 as well. Not. I don't remember Where hating it, going? but it was like kind of a weird little world. It was like you had to play it in pieces, so it was kind of different. Like mini game. More so than like any of the others. In 2. Tobly, I'm coming for you. To be fair, the level design of Arendelle kind of sucks. It's a fun idea, poorly executed. I feel like that always happens to like one of the worlds in every Kingdom Hearts game. There'll be like one that's like, this could have been cool, but then you guys, you know, went and did this nonsense to it. <clears throat> I guess Arendelle is the Kingdom Hearts 3 one. Like Little Mermaid, how they made it all like a rhythm singing game. And it's like, that was unnecessary. It made the world really lame when it didn't have to be. What can I do for you? What brings you here? Well... Spectacularly spectacular! Twill be a yummy Unipalooza indeed! Twill go down in history! I most definitely, definitely want to arrange it! Can I, can I? Yep, yep! A minor detail, where oh where should it be? Well, the more people we can gather together, the better. Aha! Then how about the Thunder Plains? Yes! You could practically pack a plethora of people in that place! Now, how do we get people to come? Simple, simple, leave it to me. My power PR team will push it pronto. Thanks, oh, Tobley. All these hype, hello. Kingdom Hearts to Atlantica is freaking hilarious. Yeah, but also sucks, yeah. We'll get you your spectators. Thanks, hype, hello. Are you sure about this? Brother's orders. Bring every last hype, hello back with you. Okay. Oh, by the way, Kroniko, I'm thinking for 2024 because I realize now that the pandemic's not on, I need I need to pick pick a niche if I want to grow some more. I'm thinking I'm going to become a Final Fantasy streamer, which call, includes man. Kingdom Hearts. You ready to go? But I think I'm going to play through the Pixel remasters. Okay. Will they be all right? Be back in the jiffy, sister. But if this works out, that means eventually I'd be playing through Kingdom Hearts games as well. Alright, next stop. Yeah, I really want to play them because of the old Pixel ones. To? There's a lot of them that I really haven't played. I don't know much about. A giant sphere screen for the stage. Thanks, Shinra. Even people way in the back will be able to see you. Your invention? <laughs> Not to mention we're still picking up lots of waves through the comm spheres. Nice work. <laughs> All the high pillow have been deployed. Hot baby, to the comms 
and crowns. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we are on Calm Spheres Part 2, and they're just like the first part. There's some comms that we ha scenes that we have not seen um, because we played it differently this time. So we're going to do those. So yeah, Pixel Remasters will be kind of first after we finish our 200% run of 10-2. So I think that's going to be like my main focus for 2024. And of course, we'll still do like the podcast streams, but you know, otherwise I'm going to be playing Pixel Remaster. Um, all right. So, the first ones that I want to show you guys is on Mount Gagazet, because we didn't defeat Garrick. There's some additional scenes in part two that we can see. Hey, Lunar. How's it going? So there's the first scene. So some of those youths are bringing updates to this Lady Ronso here that doesn't get a name, unfortunately. Um. <laughs> Koneko too, yes. Um, and then if we go back, Then she'll give an update to Kimari. It's going really well, Lunar. Thank you. Eric, go to war. Leon and Aid not return. Elder do all Elder can. Ronso who leave mountain must walk alone. Ronso who leave mountain see much. Find own answers. Just like you did, Kimari. They are not Elder Kimari's problem. Okay, so that's one of the scenes that we didn't get to see before. And then there's one more. Ronso deal with Ronso problems. Do not worry about Ronzo. Okay. <clears throat> so those are the additional Mount Gagazette scenes that happen if you don't stop Garrett. Yeah, I'm doing really good, Lunar. Um, I, <laughs> uh, we died in, in WoW, not on purpose, on accident. Um, but that's okay, because next weekend Season of Discovery comes out and we were going to switch to that anyway. So it's perfect timing that we did the last, the last final episode. It's very short. It'll go up on YouTube on Monday. Um, but yeah, and then we'll start Season of Discovery this weekend. So that's why we're playing 10-2. We were going to be playing WoW, but um, I died very quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mushroom Rock Road. So because we sided with uh, the Youth League this time, there's a bunch of Mushroom Rock Roads scenes in this one. And we also will get some percentage points. There's some percentage points in these that we did not collect last time. <clears throat> Are you hey. going to fight New Yevon? <laughs> no, this is just when she question. realizes, she backs up. The lake has no intention of starting a war. But I do not know how long that can last. Tension among the troops is running high. It won't be long before their anger becomes uncontrollable. When the time comes, I fear I will not be able to staunch the cries for blood. I have failed. Oh, Lucille. Try to keep things under control a little longer. I'll do what I can to calm the situation down. An inspiration as always. We're gonna sing, Lucille. It'll work. For my part, I will keep the troops in order, as Nuge would, were he here. Do not let our troubles distract you from your performance. I will be quietly cheering you on. Thanks, Lucille. How did you die, South Shore Guards? I got too close to a, a, an Alliance settlement, and the guards came and got me, and I couldn't run away fast enough. Alright, uh, next. So there was percentage points for that scene, and there's percentage points for this scene, and then there's some additional scenes we're going to watch that don't get percentage points, but this one does. Lady Yuna, why did 
did you have to throw a concert the one time I can't go? Oh, yeah, I bull. If only I didn't have these responsibilities. Well. You could sneak out and come. Mm-hmm. But that wouldn't set a good example for my subordinates. Well, then, bring them along, too. Well, if Lady Yuna herself thinks it's okay, then maybe it is. Sure, why not? Why not? Understood. I'll think up some excuse. We'll see you at the concert. Mm-hmm. Okay, Yaibo's gonna come, too. All right, there's a couple more scenes with uh, Yaibo, so let's watch those. His pose. We have received reports that New Yevon may be planning to disrupt Lady Yuna's concert. We're to proceed immediately to the Thunder Plains and secure the concert ground. Yaibo Squad, let's move! Let's move. Okay. So, they're all gonna go to the concert. That's their mission. Now we're going to talk to our bestie again. Be planning to attack while everyone's distracted by the concert. But everyone's still abandoning their posts and heading to the Thunder Plains. Tom, can you believe it? I mean, maybe New Yevon's doing the same thing, just saying. What's up? Maybe it's this guard? I thought it was the, our bestie that talks to us, but he's not talking. Hello? I can't take this anymore. Ah, screw it. Maybe I'll go. <laughs> it was him. Maybe you'll go. Okay. Yeah, you come to the concert too. All right, one more. Oh, he's gone. He did go to the concert. It's Lucille. <laughs> and there's a high pillow promoting the concert. I've been playing, a, a heartbroken teenager and making people cry out of character. Good. Good. That's exactly what you should be doing. All right, let's see what's going on in Bavel. Ah! So that's Must it. Be camera shy. <laughs> because we sided with uh, with the youth league, Bavel shoots out the comm sphere. All right, those first two mushroom rock scenes should have gotten us some percentage points. So let's save and check that. Yep, so we're at 102% now. Okay, so now to progress, we need to go to the cabin and do that annoying rehearsal. Rehearsal starting. I'm not gonna worry about trying to to do the. Hey, Uni, hurry up and change. To get it good, I'm just gonna mash two buttons this time and see what that gets us. If that still gets us in smooth sailing.
I hate this mini game. It's so dumb. I wish you could skip it, but it's required. So every playthrough, you have to come down here and do this. All right. We still got smooth sailing, only pushing two buttons. It's almost time. Do you think people will show up? Why wouldn't they? You betcha. The Thunder Plains will be packed. But what are you going to sing? Um... <laughs> wow, did you write that? It's more like I felt it. I can hear it echoing inside me. Len? I think so. I don't know much about her, but I'm learning more and more. Bits and pieces of her memories keep pouring in. It's like... It's like I can feel what she was feeling. Thus shall Len's scattered thoughts be woven into bittersweet song. Something like that? Hey, that was poetic. <laughs> we'll be arriving soon. After Buddy drops us off, he and the others will go pick up as spectators. So we won't be able to board for a while. You got it. Oh, I didn't mean to go up there. Okay. We're over the Thunder Plains. You ready to land? I'm so ready. Let's land. All right, it's concert time. But oh no, there's a fiend. Good to see you. Are you ready to sing your song? Mm-hmm. Yeah, more or less. You ready? We've got a sticky situation. Some fiends have shown up to snack on the spectator tours. That's not good. Concert hurt fest time. All right, let's go get this fiend. When you don't watch all of those, um, Comsphere Network things, Chapter Four goes very fast. <laughs> And believe it or not, there are still a few, a few um, of those scenes that we have not seen. So we'll have to watch those when we do our third New Game Plus. Oh, petrification.
All right, into the secret cave. We're just gonna go straight to the boss this time. Not gonna snake around and get the chest or anything. Get up there. Hello. There we go. Whee! Alright, the boss baby's back here. I got a good feeling about this one. Me too. Let's try out some of our new skills and see how they do. Um, so here we've got... Oh, Flare and Ultima Sandals. Let's do Ultima Sandals. What have you got? Petro Mask? I don't think this will work, but we're going to try it. Oh, we've got Gravity Fish and Holy Fish. Okay, let's Holy Fish. Oh! You have Guard against Ultima? That's messed up! Can you Guard against Flare? I figured you'd be able to Guard against Petro Mask. Aw, uh, holy fish works, but it doesn't do a ton of damage. <laughs> holy fish someone sounds like someone tried to censor holy fuck, true. Holy fish! Look at this guy! Look at this guy in his flame breath. My god. Bye, dude. Holy fish. I kind of want to start saying that now. That's really funny. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, not that way. That. Oh, my God. Stop jumping back. Jump this way. There we go. If you hit in pain like that, she does not deserve it. Concert time. We're landing. If we cram any more people on board, this thing is gonna fall out of the sky. All right, so I think we have to talk to Riku. Ooh, I'm getting kind of nervous. 
Hey, hey, we brought in people from the Yevon and the Youth League. They're all outside on the concert grounds. Hey, there we go. Uh, the crowd is acting kind of funny. You speak to brother, then Let Riku. Pull the video up. Uh oh, this could get messy. No kidding. The two groups have been bumping heads since they got on the airship. Yeah, looks like they're itching to start something. Mm -hmm. I'll pick up the audio. The Yevonites are here too? How am I supposed to enjoy the concert with them stinking up the air? Hey, you youth league dogs will never be worthy of hearing the high summoner sing. If the Praetor were here, he'd never let these maggots walk around spouting their nonsense. What I want to know is, where'd Nuge go? It's his fault that Spear is falling apart. Mm. What kind of leader abandons his people when they need him most? Don't they ever stop? Seriously. Well, Yuna, you're the one who wanted to do something. True. We're gonna yeah, do but... something. So let's do something. Right! Let's do it! Oh, catastrophic catastrophe! Dear me, dear me! What or whatever should I do? The spectators are making a spectacle! I don't even want to speculate! Please, do something, Yuna! Leave it to us! On with the show! It's big cutscene time. One thousand years ago, before the time of sin, Spira was torn in two, divided by a terrible war. This was Spira's great mistake. Out of the rift left by this terrible conflict, sin was born. In only two short years, Spira has shaken off its unhappy past. We have moved on. Now, Spira grows brighter with each passing day. That light is our strength. I don't want to see it fade. Do you? There are so many of us, each with different ideas and different beliefs. Of course we sometimes disagree, and arguments will happen. But our hearts can and should always be one. Believe with me. Even if we are torn apart, our feelings will unite us. Two voices. That is what this song is about. You know, what just thought just occurred to me? 
even though they're using like their electronics, their electronics are based off of like fireflies and all of that, the spheres, which means that uh, there's no danger using them in water, unlike in our world where that would be kind of dangerous. Because they're not really using electricity. Oh, it's such a good cutscene. Still think the opening song is better than that one, but that one's so good. <sighs> so sad. Poor Lynn. She tries so hard. You know. I'm all right. I'm fine, really. It's past now. What did Shinra say? Um, he said it might be some kind of, uh, interference with the sphere waves? Yuni's dress sphere and the sphere screen reacted with each other and, uh, the consciousness burned into the dress sphere was projected onto the screen. <laughs> or something like that. Okay, but that doesn't explain why it happened. When I asked, he said, I'm only a kid. That does explain it, though. It's what more do you want? You don't understand. I was singing her feelings. During the song, I could feel them welling up inside until they just burst. So the people we saw were Len and Shuyin? That must have been weird for the audience. Let's go. Who has no context for the rest of this game to see that and be like, what? <laughs> All right, to end out the chapter, first we need to talk to Machen. It was a magnificent melody, Lady Yuna. The onlookers were all quite enchanted. If it brings spirit together, even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. 
As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? He's yes, in that first us. sphere, shaking her hand. Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Zanagant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Xanagand was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. The crowd's Whatever all still out there. Name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's machina weapon and save Len. However... Oh. It didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shu Yin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been, um... Fegnagun. Fegnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone. Two years ago, I, I was the same. Trying to find some way, some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved, he struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. Yes, there is a connection. But wait. Everything is all wrong. He never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. Well, what do you know? It's LeBlanc's game. They want to see Yuna. I'll have them wait in the engine room. Mm, it's so sad. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, let's go talk to Shinra. What have we here? Looks like a transmission, but it's pretty weak. What is? Hmm. I'm getting signals from the car sphere we dropped in that hole, but I can't seem to connect. Yeah, we don't have to go talk you to You are trying my patience. Enough, little boy. Move aside. And skip that scene. <laughs> Good job, LeBlanc. Good job. It's totally how computers work. Inconceivable. Impressive machina. An invention like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Uh, sure, Gipple. Anybody home? Gipple! I don't think he can hear us. No response. Hm. Some genius. <gasps> Newgie! 
If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? Good question. You can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work? Death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a Death Seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? Well, she... Why did it cut off like that? Oh, just when he was getting to the juicy bit! Not my fault. What a piece of junk! Forget it, I'll go ask him myself. What about the Gullwings? I think that we should help out Nuge. Mm -hmm. But first, I want to try talking to Shu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. That's right. Together, this time. Yeah, not just Yuna. <gasps> Brother denied the high five. He tried. Air five. Chapter 4 complete. Alright, I am going to take a stretch break here. So, if you are watching uh, this on YouTube, the, the VOD, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.